Yeah, now, both of you gentlemen, I mean, we've got this issue where the Greens have said, you know, that, that basically Labor is dancing to their tune. Adam Bant was the big winner of Labor's energy plan, and we've had a great piece in the Australian Today by Nick Cater, and this has led to Adam Bant taking a victory lap press conference. Have a look at this. Gas is as dirty as coal. Gas is polluting. It's unhealthy and it's expensive. Today is the day that Parliament understands that gas is not something we're transitioning to, it's something Australia needs to get away from. And there's that big lie again that Joe just mentioned, because as Nick Cater writes, the Labor Party's energy plan means that from now on, our primary energy sources are wind, solar, hydro or nothing. Matt, I mean, what is this going to do to our future? Well, uh, James, it's going to make us a lot poorer. That's, that's what the situation is here. If we deny ourselves the use of reliable and affordable energy sources, it'll become much more expensive to do basic things, to make things, uh, uh, to have a strong economy. Just to heat your home uh, and travel to and from work will become more expensive, as we can all see, and that will make you poorer. That's what these plans are for. And in terms of the Greens' plan here, that they, their big win last week, so to speak... Uh, the, the way the, the Labor Party rolled over to the Greens last week was to say, we're going to spend uh, millions of dollars in converting people's homes from gas-fired uh, appliances to uh, electricity-fired appliances. But really, let's face it, in our current system, to coal-fired appliances. <laughs> so you'll, you'll get rid of the gas heating in your home in Melbourne and instead, instead install a reverse cycle air conditioner, which will be powered by what? Most of the time in Victoria, will be powered by brown coal-fired electricity, the most emissions-intensive electricity known to man. It, it, it would, look, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to write a satire about this. Evelyn Wall could not come back and write a satire about this. It is so absurd. Uh, but they continue to parrot this complete rubbish and get away with it. But as Joe said, I mean, if you want to, if you want to reduce emissions, you shouldn't be closing down gas. <coughs> I mean, if, if this is literally, this policy is literally the, the barbecue stopper, right? They're going to take away your gas barbecue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you going to put on? Some kind of electric fry pan or something. Uh, it, it's just so absurd. Well, I'll tell you what, Matt, they can take my gas cooktop from my cold, <laughs> dead hands. Adam Bant, you try coming over here to my joint and getting rid of my six-burner range because that is just not going to happen. And I don't care how much I have to pay for the, the kids gas. In water, kid, what about the kids in water? What about those, James? Which, where, where's the going? pecking order? Yeah. <laughs> what, you, what you should do, James, is agree to the, get rid of the gas and then power it with coal briquettes. Well, you know, that's... Have, you know, have a coal-fired barbecue. Right. Well, I do. It's called they're... a big green egg. It's called a Kamado. And boy, doesn't that just, you know, fire up my car with emissions every year. But, Joe, seriously, yeah. we know that this plan isn't going to lower prices or it'll just maybe slow the increase just a little bit and it's going to cause us huge problems down the road. What is Labor doing here? Can you come up with some defence for what they're trying yeah, to do? Yeah, but I mean, it's I think this, work at all. This, is a, well, this is an existential um, threat for Labor, obviously. This is the number one issue in the country. It's the power prices are feeding into the price hikes in every single other commodity because, of course, you need power to, to make, make things, store, yeah. and transport things, everything. Um, so clearly they think it is going to work. I don't think they're deliberately throwing billions of dollars. And, and this is work that's been done by Treasury. So they're supposedly meant to be impartial and just do what they're asked to do. And so I, I think. I think they definitely are expecting and relying on the fact that it will work and it would be a pretty big snafu if it didn't have some impact. Um, the, the, the other thing, the other really interesting thing that we're missing in this debate, though, is that over in the US just last week, they achieved nuclear fusion. Yes. And while this will be many, many um, years and probably decades away from being able to be applied to produce power, the fact that they've got this breakthrough means it's possible we will have an infinite clean energy source that will both reduce CO2 emissions and piss off the Greens at the same time. So it's the perfect solution for I'll people tell you like what, I'll tell you what, Joe, I'm going to take back what I said just a moment ago. Adam Bent, you can take my gas cooktop away if I can cook on top of nuclear fusion. I think that would be <laughs> an awful lot of fun. 